Welcome to Physics Can Be Fun with me, Stephen Thomas. It's always more fun when one knows what's going on in physics. Now today we're looking at substitution reactions. Substitution reactions. Well, I think everyone knows what a substitute uh, teacher is. It's the teacher in place of your regular teacher. So it is when you take one thing and replace it with another. So let's have a look at halogenation. That's the first type of substitution which we're going to look at. What do we have here? We have carbon with four hydrogens, which is methane, our gas. And we take Cl, Cl, that is our chlorine gas. And in the presence of ultraviolet light and or heat, it becomes, now look what's happened, that hydrogen has been substituted by a chlorine. So chlorine is the substitute for a hydrogen. And what happens to that hydrogen? It combines with another chlorine, with the other chlorine, and it forms hydrogen chloride. So we've taken this thing and substituted a chlorine in its place. Let's just have a look at how this might occur with our marshmallow molecules. So there is our methane, one, two, three, four hydrogens. Here is our chlorine with two chlorine atoms. We're going to pull out one of the hydrogens. We're going to break apart the chlorine, put it in place of the hydrogen. There's the substitution. And we're going to take the hydrogen that was pulled off and place it there. So there we go. H. Cl is our one substance, HCl, and our other is our methane with a chlorine, or one chloromethane. There we go. So there is our substitution. Now let's have a look at the second type of substitution, where an alcohol goes to form an alkyl, halide. So let's start with this. It is an alcohol. And notice we know it's an alcohol because it's got an OH group. So we're going to add to it HBr and what are we going to do? We're going to substitute, look at that, your bromine takes the place of your OH. So we take HBr, we place the bromine there, and we're left with a hydrogen which combines with the OH to form H2O or water. So let's just show you what's happening with marshmallow molecules. So there we go. We've got our one, two, three, four carbons. We call this a tertiary alcohol because there's one methyl group, another methyl group, a third methyl group, and there's your OH. So we've got three methyl groups on this car central carbon. Here's your OH. We're going to get our um, going to get our HBr. Now where is our HBr? Here is our HBr. We're going to break off the OH. We're going to add on our bromine in its place. There we go. So it has taken the place. The bromine has taken the place of the OH. Here's your OH, and we add to it the hydrogen, and there we have water. So that is going from an alcohol to this alkyl bromine, uh, alkyl halide. So there we go. So that now the reverse reaction can occur as well. We could have gone from this remove the bromine, 
take a water molecule, pull off a hydrogen, place it onto there, form an alcohol, and there we go. We add the hydrogen to the bromine, and we get hydrogen bromide. So the reverse reaction can occur as well. So we have to look at what conditions will favor going this direction, and it requires heat to form this plus water. That plus water. The reverse reaction also requires heat, and it requires an excess of water. So when there's a lot of water on this, uh, around in the reaction, and heat, we can force it to go the other way, and we can lose the bromine, pull the bromine off, add on the OH, and form HBr. So this reaction, easy to remember, can go in both directions. Now, just as a last matter of interest, we could have done this reverse reaction with sodium hydroxide instead of water. So if instead of HOH, we had NaOH, NaOH with concentrated or strong sodium hydroxide, caustic soda, we're going to again get OH onto this. We're going to get the same substance. But instead of an H here, we're going to get Na, sodium bromide, NaBr. So it's almost the same reaction as with um, taking water and adding it to this and getting that. We could take sodium hydroxide, which notice the similarity to water, and we get a similar product, except instead of HBr, we get NABR, and that takes place in not in the excess of in the conditions of excess of water, but in conditions where we have strong sodium hydroxide. That is a substitution reaction. Notice there are no double bonds being broken or formed here, which was different from our addition and our elimination reactions where we had double bonds involved. Substitution, we're just taking something off the one molecule and substituting it with a, another substance. And we can also then look at the naming of these substances. What do you think this alcohol would be called? Well, it's... What would this alcohol be called? It is, look at the longest carbon chain, it is three carbons. So, three carbons makes it propane. It's got an oxygen or OH on the second alcohol, uh, on the second carbon. So it's propane dash two dash ol, propane two ol. But notice it's also got a, um, a methyl group on the second carbon. So it is going to be 2-methyl propane 2-ol. 2-methyl on the second carbon is a methyl group. 2-methyl propane 2-ol. And what would this be called? Well, what is it? It's a alkyl halide. So it is going to be one, two, three carbons. It's going to be propane, because there's some single bonds. But on carbon number two, it's got a bromine. So it's going to be one bro, uh, two bromo, and it's also got a methyl chain, two methyl propane. So it's one, uh, two bromo, 2-methyl propane. And that is the names of these substances. And what would this be? 1-chloromethane.
So that is our substitution reactions.